Hey, beautiful collective. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I'm going to ask for information for the collective energy. One. Okay. This one came out first. So this is justice, okay? Somebody was a fool here. Oh, jeez. A hierophant. Learning lessons. <laughs> oh, jeez. Patience, temperance, balance. Well, there we have it, the tower. Someone had to learn a lesson here. Someone's foolishness has caused a tower and there is now judgment and there is now justice. And there is the Hierophant, learning, teaching and learning. Okay, clarify this reading. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower, please, Spirit. What is this tower? What is this tower? What does the tower represent? Someone interfering. Someone now regrets whatever impulsiveness they did or in, no, oh, gotta learn a lesson here. A hierophant. The star. Well, you only get the star after the tower, so that's what I mean. Somebody being foolish and juggling. Complete blind blinders on denial, stuck energy. Um, given to two <laughs> sexually. <laughs> I don't know. It's like the fool. Jeez. So someone could have fear of judgment here. Somebody could have been judging you. This is final decision. You had to make a final decision. Someone's interfering and someone, either they're feeling defeated Jesus, what says? This person is thinking you're happy to be away from them. They thinking you're happy. Reaping what you've sown? Well, look. Seven of swords, nine of swords. 
Well, you're being blessed here. What the hell? Very happily single here, by the way. And somebody is out. You're getting karmic justice. Consequences. That's what I'm saying. Look at you reaping what you've sown here. Look, this is stability. This is a solid foundation. This is a new beginning. This is patience, balance, confidence. You're happy. And this person is feeling insecure. And they're feeling frustrated and angry about this tower. I think that they trusted somebody they shouldn't have trusted. And they were gossiping. Deliberately causing heartbreak. This hurts, man. Try to hurt the Empress? They hurt themselves. Holy. Frenemies. What's going on here? Wow. This person might be ending their connection with that other person. Somebody was accusing you. This person pushed you away. You were being accused of something. You were being judged for something. Accusing you of being the devil. Well, they look like they're being so genuine and secure. Oh. Holy God. This person is lonely, man. With that third party. It's taken this person a hell long time to figure this out. A hell of a long time to get to the bottom of this story. To get to the root cause of what was going on. This person was listening to nothing but gossip. Accusing you of blaming you for everything, dumping it all on you. You were the toxic one. You did this. You did that. You did the other thing. You was the devil. Somebody was accusing you of being the devil. And the reason why they were accusing you of that It's because they were competing with you. And somebody is reaping what they've sown. So somebody was accusing you of being a witch. Or accusing you of being the devil. Accusing you of being the karmic. 
or accusing you of toxicity. Bloody hell. That's why they feel like a damn ass fool. They was listening to an ex who the ex then was talking to their friends. They had this little group going and they were all saying bad things about you and all saying, blaming you for everything, blaming you for their karma, blaming you for every damn thing that ever happened to them in their life. They started a frenzy. They started a frenzy. I don't know who this ex is of theirs, male or female, don't matter. They're a gossip hoe. That's all they do is gossip. And they have this little group of people that all spin their web, making you out like you are the devil. You're a witch. You did this. You cast spells. You do this. You do that. And they're doing it to themselves. They're falling on their own swords. They're doing it to themselves. You don't have to do a damn thing. They're bringing karma upon their own heads. This is karmic justice. You were innocent here of whatever you were accused of. It's like... Oh, they get some bad luck or they get the karma that they dished out. Oh, it's the collective did it. The empress did it. The emperor did it. Had to be the empress. Had to be the emperor. You know, it's their own mouth that they're falling on their own swords. They're getting karma and they're even blaming their damn karma on you. Oh, see, somebody could have died. And, and so they go on a frenzy. Oh, it's because the collective, the collective's doing witchcraft. They're a witch. They were wishing me dead. They were this. They were that. It's a bunch of bullshit. What up with that, hey? So somebody got some bad karma for living their life that the way that they were living it. Being manipulative, being a, a vindictive, cutthroat gossip. And you got the blame for it. But Spirit is saying it was karmic justice. Like... They fell on their own swords. They did. They did. They did. Everything that goes wrong, it's because of the Empress. <laughs> the one that everyone loves to hate. Holy God. Imagine that. The one that everyone loves to hate. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> some people are just want to live naive. So they get some shit house karma luck. But it's karmic justice, Spirit is saying. So whatever they did, they brought on to themselves. They brought on their own pain, their own suffering, their own swords. But they had to make it look like it was the collective. It's all the collective's fault why I'm getting karma. It's all, they wouldn't even admit to getting karma. It's you doing witchcraft. It's you doing spell work. It's you doing this. It's you doing that. When it's their own damn mouth. Oh, Jesus.
try to make themselves like they were some Puritan. It's a group of feminines doing this. In this case, in this read, it is somebody who is an ex. Or their ex has gotten a group of people together to make up a bunch of accusations about you, a bunch of gossip about you, making up stories about you, and blaming you for their own misery. Fool. Fool. Blind. That's why you're being stalked so heavily and watched so heavily. A betrayal of friends. Yep. Friends of whoever they were hooked up to. <clears throat> rallying like a bunch of wolves. Oh yeah, I heard this about the collective. Oh no, they're a witch. Oh no, they're the karmic. Oh no, they did this. They That's why Sonso died, don't you know? They're doing spell work. You wished them, you wished them dead. You did this, you did that. No, they fucking fell on their own swords. They can believe whatever they want to believe. Fools. So, Spirit, you can, I can't leave the collective like this. What's going to be the end result of this situation? Is my collective energy being vindicated? Is the collective energy going to... Yes. Is the collective energy going to be vindicated of their accusations? Well, you're being blasted. Is my collective going to be vindicated? Is the collective going to be vindicated here, spirit? The innocent ones. Yep. Oh, that's why they're afraid to apologize to you. Yes, that's a hell yes. There's going to be some heavy-ass karma come down here. Because you bet your ass, Spirit is saying you're getting vindicated. These people is going to make like sheep. You will be victorious, and you will be given the recognition, the recognition that you deserve. Yes. That's a holy hell yes from spirit. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Your reputation will be cleared. Yes. Another yes. Everything is yes. There is some karma to pay here, I gotta say. Based on their own damn insecurities and their mouth. 
their negative talk and their negative thinking and their negative words that are spewed out of their mouth. Yes, you will be vindicated. Because that's rough. What you went through, guys, that was rough. And then to get blame for you're the innocent one and they've tried to make your life a living hell? You think spirit's going to sit back and watch it happen? Yeah. Yeah, you're going to be vindicated. Absolutely will. I was like three yeses. Spirit knows what you went through. Spirit knows more about what they were doing and saying than you do. Spirit would never disclose that. Why would Spirit never disclose that? Because that is shit you don't need to know about. That's why. It's garbage. It's foolish. And yeah, as long as spirit cares about your reputation being cleared. Yes, that is a yes. There must have been a whole hell lot of stuff going down. It's like everybody is so strong when they have each other to feed off of, right? That's what they did. It was a frenzy. Bunch of vultures. I'm sorry this all happened to all you guys, like, I really am. I've been through it, I understand it, and it is painful, it does hurt. Especially to be accused of something you're not guilty of. Like, that sucks. But, in the end, the truth always comes out. It always has, it always will. And it is nothing for you to worry about, Spirit is saying. Nothing for you to worry about. And you really don't even need to know detail about what they were doing. Spirit would never. Spirit would never tell you that. Because you don't need to know. It's just the end result. You will be vindicated. Your name will be clear. Take care, everyone.